about kinematics in one dimension, this is our next lesson, which I divided into three parts. For the part one, we are going to talk about distance and displacement. The second part is on the speed and velocity. And for the third part, we are going to talk about acceleration. Okay, so to start with, to define first what is kinematics. So kinematics is actually a branch of classical mechanics that describes the motion of points, objects, and systems of groups of objects without reference to the causes of motion. So in this case, we are going to focus only on the description of the motion. We are not, uh, we are not going to talk about the causes of motion since it is on a separate lesson. Okay, so also kinematics is referred as the geometry of motion. So dito na natin ma-apply what we have learned in our geometry in our secondary or in during our high school math lessons. Okay, so motion along a straight line. We define or we define one dimension, kapag sinabi natin one dimension, the motion is along a straight line only. Naka, uh, yung path na na-travel ng object is uh, forming a straight line. So that is one dimension. Okay, so here we have different variables to talk about. The position and displacement, the average velocity and average speed. Instantaneous velocity and speed, the acceleration, and then the free fall acceleration. But in this lesson, we will focus first on the position, distance, and displacement. Okay, so what is motion? So motion is the action or process of moving or being moved. So as long as the object is in motion, or as long as the object is moving, so ibig sabihin nun, the object is also moving. So this is just the process of moving. So we have here examples, the train, the horseback riding, and then the solar system. So even our solar system is always in motion. So as the planets revolves around the sun, so constant yung movement na planets. Okay. Also another example, a plane traveling from Lax to Newark. We call it also a motion. So there are four basic quantities in kinematics. These are the displacement, velocity, time, and acceleration. So when we talk about displacement, ito siya yung blue line. We have here x naught and then x final. This is your initial position and then your final position x. Your time, when, you, uh, when you're still in your position, tapos yung time ninyo at your final position. This is the you also have your velocity, initial velocity, and then your final velocity, and then your acceleration. So later on, uh, I will further discuss more about velocity, time, and acceleration in our next lessons. Okay? So first, what is a position? Kapag sinabi natin one-dimensional position, we have here uh, we have uh, your Cartesian plane or your Cartesian coordinate plane. Yun yung gagawin natin reference ng position natin. So uh, we have here, we can represent your position along a straight line with what we call the starting point or your starting position. That's the origin. And then for the direction, kapag positive yung position, ibig sabihin, nandun siya sa right na axis or right na x-axis or dun siya sa positive na quadrant natin. And then kapag sinabi natin negative, yung position nandun naman siya sa left na side ng x-axis natin. Okay, also your position depends on time. Okay, so t is equal to zero if you're, you have your starting position and then for the units of position, we use meters and then other units of length such as miles, foot, and etc. Okay? We also have your position y. Kapag y naman, dun tayo sa y-axis. So it's the vertical position. Unlike for the x-axis, it is the horizontal position. Okay? Also, your starting point is at origin when y is equal to zero. It also depends on time. 
and your position Y also has the units of length, such as your meters. Okay, so this one we have here how you can uh, illustrate your position. Ito yung x axis natin. We have your origin at the zero. And then, kapag positive yung direction, ibig sabihin, it goes to the right or dun sa positive na axis natin. And then, negative naman kapag going to the left. So, that's for position x. Okay. Yan. So, x is equal to positive 2.5 meters. So, dito yan siya sa positive na, na, na x-axis. Kapag negative naman yung position natin, nandun siya sa negative x. So that is your position. Okay. So positive siya if you are going up, kapag vertical, and then right. I'm sorry, this is right. Kapag right naman, kung horizontal. And then negative naman siya if you are going down and going to the left. Okay, so a short review of scalars and vector. We define a vector quantity having both a magnitude and Direction. So direction is very important in defining a vector quantity. So there are examples of vector quantities such as displacement, velocity, acceleration, and force. Okay. So take note how do we denote your uh, vector quantity? It's either on bold face or an arrow on the top of your variable. And then a scalar quantity only has magnitude. So not necessary to direction when you talk about a uh, scalar quantity. We have here distance, your mass, temperature, and time. So this is uh, examples of scalar quantity. And then for motion along a straight line, the direction is represented simply by positive and negative signs. So in this case, uh, not necessary na nagamitin natin si north, east, west, and south. Depending on the word problem or depending on the problem that we have, kung ano yung hinihingi, enough na si positive at si negative sign. Kasi pag sinabi natin positive, ibig sabihin si direction is either going to the left, I'm sorry, going to the right, or going to the up. Or going up, sorry. And then negative naman siya if it's uh, going down or going to the Okay, so here it is important that we understand your 1D motion since these are the components used kapag uh, magdi-discuss na tayo ng 2D or 3D motions. So, important si, important na maintindihan natin si 1D motion. Okay. For the position, again, position is the location of a particle in space. Kapag one dimension, we can use x or y. x kapag horizontal, y kapag vertical. And then we have two dimensions, that's x and y. So kailangan dalawa na yung axis na gagamitin natin when we talk about two dimensions. If three dimensions, we have x, y, and z. Okay, so example here, ayan, this is now your position or the location of a particle. That's on positive 1 meter. X equals to positive 1. Now what about the distance? So the distance is the total length of the path traveled by an object. So it does not depend upon the direction. So in this case, kapag sinabi natin distance, how far have you walked or how far is the object from its starting point? So gaano ka layo yung na travel ni in this case, kapag yung starting position natin, uh, we denote it as x sub 1 is equal to 1 meter. So, dito yung starting point ng object natin. If it traveled going to the negative 1 meter, so ito na yun siya. This is now your final position, x sub 2. So, the distance moved by the particle is 2 meters. So, you can see here, 1, 2. So, 2 meters yung na travel ni object. So, uh, take note also, na kapag uh, pinag-uusapan natin sa distance, distance is always positive. Okay? Walang negative na distance. Kasi hindi naman siya nakadepende sa direction. 
distance is only uh, uh, the magnitude of how far or how long is the path traveled by an object. So it's always possible. Kasi wala naman siyang direction. Okay? Now, for the spacement, this is the change in position of an object. It depends on the final, initial and final positions, not on the path. So unlike for the distance, nakadepende siya dun sa path traveled the object. This placement naman, it depends on the initial and the final positions of an object. It is also a vector quantity. So necessary si direction kapag meron tayo, uh, kapag pinag-uusapan natin si so it has both magnitude and direction. Your direction here could be positive or negative sign. So a question, if uh define time and displacement, how far are you from okay, so necessary na dito si sign? So your displacement can be negative or positive. Since it indicates the, the uh, sorry, it indicates the direction of your object. Kung saan pa punta si object. Okay, so displacement is represented by this delta x. Kapag nakita niyo itong sign na ito, itong parang triangle, this is what we call delta. Okay, so delta is necessary to define that you are representing a variable that is from your final to initial position or your yes you are talking about this one kapag meron tayong change in position that's it kapag meron change in position we can define it as delta so kapag meron merong delta x ibig sabihin meron tayong change in position so that's x2, that's your final position, and then x1, that's your initial position. So you just subtract final minus initial, that is now your displacement. Okay, so in this case, your initial is 1. I'm sorry, your final, yes, your initial is positive 1, and then your final is negative 1. So negative 1 minus 1, that's negative 2. So in this case, the displacement ninyo is negative 2 meters. Ibig sabihin, 2 meters going to the left. That is your displacement. Okay. So distance versus displacement. This is how you illustrate distance. From A to B. Kapag ganito yung path, for example, walang daanan na diretsyo kay B, kailangan mo pang umikot at this side in order for you to go to position B, so this is now your distance. Your displacement, how far are you from A? So basically, that is just 50 meters. Okay. Unlike a distance, ito yung path na travel ninyo. Pero kung gaano kayo kalayo kay B, or gaano kalayo sa A at B sa isa't isa, we call it displacement. So I hope you understand the difference between the two variables. Yes, we also have the time graph. When defining distance and position, it is necessary that we have your time also. Okay? So the time it takes for you to go from one position to another. So that's the importance of time in time graph. So here, this is just an example. Kapag given kayo ng positions A, B, C, D, E, and F, and then we have your certain time, okay, kung saan ninyo naabot, kung ilang oras or ilang seconds bago ninyo napuntahan yung position na yun, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and then X, this represents your distance. Okay. So here... I'm sorry, I think that uh, this is your displacement and then this is your time. So at position zero or at time zero, your position is nasa 30 CA. So andito si 30. Okay. At time 10, 
equal to 10 seconds. Si B is nasa 52 meters. So dito, this is approximately 52. Si C naman, nandito, at 20 seconds, nasa 38 meters na siya. So this is 38, i-approximate lang natin. That's 38. And then, at 30 seconds, nasa zero siya. So at the origin, dito. And at 40 seconds, si E naman, that's a negative 37. So dito siya sa negative natin na axis. This is 37, negative 37. And then at 50 seconds, nasa negative 50. So itong red na lines, red na line, it represents your distance. Tapos ito siya, you have here. Ma-observe din yung meron ditong green na line. That is your displacement. So, yun yung shortest path travel. Or yung shortcut. So, displacement is not distance. So, different talaga sa displacement. So, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand our topic on distance and displacement. I will upload a separate video for the examples that deals with problems involving distance and displacement and then if you have questions, clarifications, and suggestions, please don't hesitate to send me a message on my Facebook Messenger. Thank you everyone. God bless and excel at all times.